Here we are back at the Talbert Center in Mooresville. Start of the fourth quarter. First game of the Top Line Events Holiday Showcase. Max my game from Orlando, Florida. Trails Kennedy Charter of Charlotte, North Carolina, 48-40. to An eight-point deficit. MMG trying to cut into it here. Andres Felice with a quick ball fake and penetrates the lane. Gets an easy layup. Number 10, Andres Felice for MMG is trying to take over the game. Cut the lead to six here. Max my game comes out with a full court press. Kennedy Charter breaks it easily. Lucas Johnson. Lucas Johnson goes 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 hard to the rim and almost made an attempt to dunk on my man. This goes just takes it hard at the six foot ten sophomore. But a learning trip to the line. First free throw hits nothing but net. Say I've, been, I've really been impressed with Lucas Johnson. He's been taking over this game. He's controlled the game. He's scored pretty much at will, especially in the first half. Second free throw's up and good for Lucas Johnson. And you guessed it, Kennedy Charter is back in there. Full court pressure. And you guessed it, there's another turnover. Lucas Johnson forces it. The long arms of Lucas Johnson get to another ball. Kennedy Charter leads by eight. Roger Ray pulls up. No go. Oh my goodness, Lucas Johnson. Lucas Johnson is an athlete. Missed the dunk opportunity, but did throw the crowd. MMG gets it down the block and finds a lab and cuts the lead to six here, but they stay in their full court pressure. Lucas Johnson in the open court. Whew. Just make it a really smooth move on the six foot on the seven foot two eighth grader. And he gets to the line again. Almost finishes. And one. Lucas Johnson back at the line taking over this game. Free throws up and good. This kid Lucas Johnson is really impressive. The six foot five senior, number four, Lucas Johnson. <laughs> Second free throws up and good, and they're back in their zone press, full court press up by eight. MG breaks it all the way down the corner. There's a trap, and a foul is called. MMG will inbounds on the baseline. Looks like Kennedy Charter is in a 2-3 zone. Kennedy Charter leads by eight with just under seven minutes remaining in the game. Number 31 with a great drive, and MMG's finding a way to penetrate that zone and get, get an easy layup. They cut the lead to six here. MMG in a man-to-man. -man. Kennedy Charter penetrates, kicks in the lane. A floater by number 14. No good. Second shot swatted by that seven foot two phenom. Kenny Charter gets it back. And number 14, Deion Alex, sticking with it, going up against the seven foot two phenom, sticking with it, and getting the tap in on the offensive rebound. And MMG turns it over, coming back the other way. Kennedy Charter leads by eight and has possession of the ball with six minutes left in this game. Roger Ray kicks it to his backcourt mate, Isaiah Lowe, who comes off the ball screen and is called for a traveling violation. That'll be a turnover for Kennedy Charter and they'll, they'll get directly in there, full court pressure as MMG comes the other way. There's a wide open look, takes a quick three for MMG is no good. Offensive rebound and another pass to number 31, finishes at the rim again. An easy layup. And the lead is once again cut to six. Kennedy Charter. Roger Ray brings it up. Facing the pressure of Andres Felice. Roger Ray holds the ball near half court as they lead by six. Just over five minutes remaining in the game. Dribble handoff to Lucas Johnson who misses the left-handed layup. 
MMG goes the other way. It does not have numbers, but number 10, Andres Feliz with a swooping layup with the right hand up and under. Cuts the lead to four with just over five minutes remaining. And the Kennedy Charter coach is not happy with that. As all of a sudden, we have a game on our hands. Just under, just over five minutes left in this game. Kennedy Charter 54, MMG 50. We'll be right back. Back at the Talbert Center. Kennedy Charter inbounds. MMG. It's a little token full court pressure, man to man. Roger Ray breaks it, gets in the lane, kicks it out to number number 15, Damon Brown with a missed 18 footer. Possession will stay with Kennedy Charter as they lead by four. Charter has has a little trouble inbounds in the ball. It's a tip pass. Got to respect the hustle by Mr. Kinez, six foot two sophomore for Max My Game Prep. Not allowing the easy inbounds, but Kennedy Charter gets it in, gets it to their point guard Roger Ray, brings it up the left side, pass it to the wing to Lucas Johnson. A lot of ball movement, swung all the way back to Roger Ray. Finds an open number 14, Deion Alex penetrates and kicks to Roger Ray for a three. The shot is good and the foul by Roger Ray. That was just a very good possession by Kennedy Charter. A lot of ball movement. A lot of ball movement, a lot of penetration and kick. Roger Ray knocks down the three and the foul, and he'll have a he'll have a chance to make make it a four point play here. As they extend their lead from four to seven now, it's fifty seven to fifty. Kennedy Charter leads Roger Ray at the line to extend their lead to eight, and I'm sure we'll see them stepping right into their full court pressure. Roger Ray's free throw is good. It's an eight point game with four minutes and thirty four seconds left. Max my game brings it up. Looks like uh, Kennedy Charter switches to a man-to-man -man now. Andres Feliz with a beautiful Euro step. Misses. Andre Feliz gets his own rebound and gets fouled. I'll tell you, he's got the heart of the line. Number 10, Andres Feliz. The junior is out working everybody on the court right now and keeping his team in the game. Earns himself a trip to the line for two here. First free throw is up and good. Second free throw is up and good. The ref calls a lane violation, so don't count that point. On number 53, <laughs> six foot ten sophomore gets called for the lane violation. Kennedy Charter brings it up against this pressure from Andres Felice, man to man pressure. Roger Ray with a soft pass, but he gets it back, penetrates the number 14 with the open look. Deion Alex misses the open three. Roger Ray gets the rebound and brings it back out to reset the offense. Finds Lucas Johnson on the wing. He comes off a of ball string, gets in the lane with the left-handed layup, and it rims out just barely. Lucas Johnson misses. Kennedy Charter in their full-court pressure. Max my game beats it. Andres Feliz beats the press again, and he'll go back to the free throw line where he's making a living right now. Andres 
Andres Feliz trying to cut into the seven point lead. First free throws up and good. There's three minutes and 45 seconds remaining here. It's a six point game. MMG trying to trying to complete this comeback that they've made. Had a much better effort here in the second half. Probably had a little jet lag driving in from Orlando, Florida last night. Some sloppy shooting in the first half, but they uh, looked a lot better in the second half. And a lot of it's been because of that kid at the line has just made his second free throw there, cut it to five. Andres Felice, who's pressuring the ball as Roger Ray brings it, brings it up for Kennedy Charter. Touches the top of his head and calls for a ball screen. Roger Ray probes, finals number 14, Dion Alex, who calls for a ball screen. He gets it. MMG's coach has been, been in the refs here about moving screen, and that's exactly what they call an illegal screen. Looks like that's five. Looks like that's going to be five. It's five fouls on number 22, Isaiah Thomas, the big six foot seven senior for Kennedy Charter, is fouled out with three minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the game. Five point game here. We've got three minutes and 20 seconds left. MMG will inbounds the ball. Facing the full court pressure of Kennedy Charter. It's like a man to man press this time. And they, uh, Kennedy Charter is in a man to man. Andres Felice controls the ball. Gets in the lane and gets fouled again. Get fouled by Roger Ray and Andres Felice. Back to the line again where he's been making a living in this second half. He's Kind of taking over and, and controlled the game here. First free throw is up and rolls around the rim and good. Cuts the lead to four with 312. Three minutes and 12 seconds left and the, the seven foot two eighth grader comes back into the game. So subbing for the six foot 10 sophomore for MMG. They get a little more length on the floor. Andres Felice tries to cut into this four-point lead with another free throw is up and good, and that's a three-point game with just over three minutes remaining. Roger Ray brings the ball up the court facing the pressure of Andres Felice. Kennedy Charter calls a timeout. Three-point game here. He wants to talk it over with his team. It's over three minutes remaining. Kennedy Charter inbounds, just over three minutes. Roger Ray on the wing. It's a ball screen from Lucas Johnson. Gets to the elbow, swings, another swing to number 15, Damon Brown, penetrates baseline, turns it over. Guess who comes up with a steal? None other than Andres Felice. It's a no-look pass into the zone. Andres Felice controls the ball, trailing by three. Gets this man-to-man -man pressure. He comes off the ball screen from the seven foot two eighth grader. Gets to the lane, kicks it out to the wing. Another pass, number 31 penetrating the lane with the finish and the foul and a chance to tie this ball game, ladies and gentlemen. MMG has scratched and clawed their way back into this game and they have a chance to tie it with, the, with one free throw here. They trail by one with two minutes and 29 seconds remaining in the game. Very impressive comeback they've made, whether they finish it or not. Free throws up and good, and we have a tie ball game, ladies and gentlemen. 
two two minutes and 25 seconds remaining. Roger Ray brings it up, kicks it to a open Isaiah Lowe, calls for a ball screen. Isaiah Lowe will pull up from just inside the three-point line, no good. Andres Felice controls the rebound and brings it up the court. Kenny Charter in the man-to-man. -man. Andres Felice gets in the lane. And a crafty finisher that he is, he's taking over the game. He finishes. MMG has their first lead of the game, ladies and gentlemen, 60-58. to 58. Kennedy Charter with a stunned look on their face. Lucas Johnson gets the ball screen at the top of the key, kicks it back, swings to Roger Ray in the corner, who gets the ball screen, penetrates in the lane. He finds an open number seven for three, and it's good. Anthony Robinson. 4-3, that's a good possession by Kennedy Charter. When they get in those ball screens and get in the lane and penetrate and kick, they really get good looks. And that time, Anthony Robinson knocked it down. But we have a one-point ball game here. The man, Andres Felice, kicks it to number 31, who Euro steps, and it's a beautiful finish in the lane. It's to take the lead, just back and forth now. MMG leads by one. Roger Ray coming off the screen from Lucas Johnson, probes. Dribble handoff to Isaiah Lowe in the corner. Passes it to the middle and gets it back. Isaiah Lowe goes off the ball screen. Gets in the lane, and he's called for a walk. That's a turnover from Kennedy Charter. And MMG will maintain possession with just over a minute, and they lead by one. And joining me, joining me back on the mic again is Devin Seaford. I had to come watch the last minute of this ball game with you up here. It's just, um, it's too exciting from down low. It's been an impressive comeback by MMG to say the least. And this is the guy that's made made it all happen right here. Andres Feliz, number 10. Oh, look, at the, look at the pressure by Kennedy. And number 30, 31 is just taking over the game here in the latter, latter parts as well. He's had three huge buckets down the stretch Kennedy here. Charter with a stunned look on their face. Roger Ray. Shoots a long three, no good. Scramble for the ball, mad scramble for the ball. Kennedy Charter remains with possession. Mm, great hustle, tough call for the ref there. Bodies 20, on the floor. 28 seconds left in this game. Kennedy Charter has a stunned look on their face because MMG has came all the way back from 14 down. Uh, we said earlier in the first half it might have been the road that was wearing on Play their legs game. a little bit, but uh, Second half looked like a brand new ball team out here, huh? That's what I was saying earlier. They, they've uh, looked a lot more impressive here in the second half. Looked like they caught their caught their win, got got punched in the mouth in the first half, and came out swinging here in the second half. And now they lead by three with 28 seconds left. Well, one thing I noticed uh, here in the second half, the referees really letting them play uh, more so than in the first half. A lot of contact, uh, letting them play through it. Yeah, I think the coaches got in their ear a little bit, especially from MMG. They've uh, made a little, couple of makeup calls here in the second half. A couple of makeup calls. They must have heard us talking about them up here in the first half. <laughs> but either way, Kennedy Charter has the ball with 28 seconds and down three, and they're baseline and underneath their own their own basket here. They line up with a four-man stack. Roger Ray comes in right off, quick three right off the gate and misses short. Andres Felice. Oh! He's called call for a there. travel. I think these refs just want to keep this game close because that did not look like a travel. Looks like a no call to me. But either way, Kennedy Charter retains the ball with just under 20 seconds. Down three. Another chance for three. Anthony Robinson for three again from the exact same spot as he hit it earlier. Wow. He's got ice water in his veins, ladies and gentlemen, and he knocks it down with 10 seconds on the clock to tie this ball game up, 64 to 64. Big shot. Coach ran a play out of the timeout, baseline inbounds play for a three-pointer. He got the wide open look, just missed it. Then back the other way, a big travel call as uh, MMG went up for the layup, and he, he missed the shot anyway, but – uh, gave my man a chance to knock down the big shot yeah. to tie it up. Ten seconds left in the game. Kennedy Charter got the ball back, down three with just under 20 seconds, and they found a wide open Anthony Robinson who just hit a three a moment ago, knocks down another one to tie the ball game up. 
We've got 10 seconds left. A-Rob feeling good. Feeling good out there. Well, what do you think is going to happen here, Darren? We got uh, MMG with the ball. Ten seconds to play. What do you think they're looking for here? I say, I say we got a little uh, and Andres Feliz coming coming off a ball screen. If it, that that would be my play if I was the coach of MMG. Let's see if Andre Feliz can get something in the painted area. Maybe pop his feet, make a play for somebody, or I definitely keep the ball in his hands or number 31. They've been the playmakers here in the here in this this fourth yeah, quarter. Yeah, number 31. This comeback. Has definitely stepped up here as of late. Kennedy Charters consistent. They got their full court pressure on. It's a man to man right now. Inbounds to the, my man Andres Felice. Dribbles hard with the left hand all the way up the floor. Oh! Wide oh. open layup, and he finishes it. Unbelievable. Nobody stopped the He's ball. He's unstoppable. Look at him as Andre he flexes. Felice. Andres Felice flexes as he puts what looks to be the capper on this game. Flexing his muscles. With a two-point lead uh, with two and a half seconds remaining. <laughs> Flexing his muscles at his buddies down on the sideline. And just took the ball off the left, off the left sideline, put his head down. Nobody got in front of him and just uh, wheeled his way all the way to the basket. Ended up being an uncontested layup been somehow. What he's, what he's been doing the whole game. I think he's got about 30, about 32 points somewhere around there. That is unbelievable. If you're Kennedy Charter in that situation, somebody just got to put a body in front, make him change directions at least once. He didn't change directions the whole time. Just went straight down the sideline all the way to the basket. Unbelievable. On one on end, we've got an unbelievable comeback, which is, God, you got to feel good on the ride home if you're MMG if they do pull this out. But Kennedy Charter had this thing locked away, and they are, have a stunned look on their face here Kennedy. as they inbounds with 94 feet to go in two and a half seconds. I hope the coach drew up something good here. We got an open player down here. Yeah, they oh, want, they want to try to catch it somewhere near half court to have a chance to get a shot up. Inbounds at half court. Roger Ray throws up a half court oh. swing. And it almost goes in. But that'll do it here as Kennedy Charter gets stunned with the comeback from MMG. And they mm. come back and win by two. That'll do it here from the Talbert Center in Mooresville. All the crowd is from Kennedy Charter, and the gym just went completely silent on us. Everyone's stunned. Andres Felice, number 10, player of the game. There's Felice giving chest bumps to his pals. Well, thanks for tuning in. This has been Darren Dillinger. I'm Devin Seifert with Top Line Events. Talbert Center, Mooresville, North Carolina. Come check it out up here. And, uh, Probably going to be web streaming the final game tonight, 8.30. That's the West Oaks Academy game. A lot of high major recruits there. Definitely tune back in and check that out at 8.30 this evening. Have a great day.